Here's how to use your control box in offline mode if you've not got Wi-Fi at your greenhouse or polytunnel. The first thing you need to do is turn it on while holding the wake button down. So press that, keep it pressed down, and then press the power on button. You'll hear that long beep and then a double beep to say it's ready and transmitting its own Wi-Fi network. On your phone, you'll see a harvest dash and then a code which matches the code on the back of the control box. Click that to join the Wi-Fi network. There's no internet on that Wi-Fi, which is fine. My phone automatically redirects me to the control panel. If it doesn't connect you, then you can go to an IP address, which I'll show you at the end. Go to the dashboard, and here is the control panel for this system. So this is transmitting its own Wi-Fi network. My phone is connected to that, and we're now looking at control box via the phone. On settings, go to the connection option and choose offline or no Wi-Fi and then save the settings. The box is now configured in offline mode. So I've just turned it off and if I turn it back on again, it'll turn on in offline mode. Anytime you want to change the settings, Go to that Wi-Fi network, change the watering, and so on. This is a solar-powered box, so it will go to sleep. While it's awake, that light is flashing on the top. And while it's asleep, there's no Wi-Fi network, so you won't be able to connect to it. To wake it up, all you need to do is press the wake up button once. Once you hear the double beep, just then, you can then go to your Wi-Fi network and connect. If your phone doesn't automatically redirect you to the dashboard once you've connected to the Wi-Fi network, open a web browser, Chrome or Safari, and then in the URL type 192.168.4.1 and that will take you straight to the right place.